this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a fixed background parallax effect in Adobe Muse. And what I mean by that, uh, I have an example here. So if I go to the top of the page, uh, as I scroll down, notice the image. Uh, the image stays in place as I'm scrolling, and it just kind of scrolls across the image. Uh, it's a very cool effect. I've used it on a few sites. And it's actually quite simple to implement. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, I'll open up Adobe Muse. Okay, I'll just close this here. I'll go to File, New Site. Uh, I'm okay with these settings. I don't need high DPI at the moment or Retina Images. So I'll just click OK. I'm going to go to the home page. And basically what I'm going to do is just draw a few rectangles. I'm going to do... Uh, for, I'll do 500 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna do 500 pixel block, then 250 pixels for the image banner, and then kind of repeat that pattern. So here I got 500. Uh, if I can get it to 500 right there. Okay, and then uh, right below that, I'll just create another rectangle. Uh, we'll set this to 250. And here, let me just put it right below here and just bring it in here. I can make them 100% width so that if you notice on this example, it's 100% width. No matter how big or small I make uh, this this banner here, it kind of stretches with the width of the browser. And you, you can do that by just dragging it to the edge of the, uh, of the, of the page um, of the website. Or you can just click on this tool right here, which sets the width to 100%. Um, right there, which is a new feature in Muse. Okay, so uh, I have that in place, and also I don't want the uh, the stroke on any of these uh, rectangles. Just kind of take the stroke off there, um, and off here, uh, right there. Set it to none. All right. So now I have a 500 pixels uh, in height rectangle and a 250 pixel. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to fill in with an image. So I go to Fill, Add Image, and I'll pick this one right here. And now to make it look nicer in that rectangle, we just, over here where it says Fitting, we say Scale to Fit, and we can pos position it more in the center of the image so that the initial uh, image looks looks good. Okay, so all I have to do now is repeat this uh, to get a few more uh, more blocks with content in the website. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it four four times. All I did was copy and paste these first two and paste them underneath each other. And all I want to do now is kind of switch out these images. So I just click on this rectangle, click on fill, where it says image. I click there and just pick a different image. Um, that looks good. Go back to fill, pick a different image. That looks good right there. And I'm gonna go back to fill and I'll pick uh, this image right here. All right, so now we have four different images and I'm just gonna allow more browser space because we need more browser space in order to see the effect on, uh, on, on, this, on this image. We need some scroll space down here at the bottom. And again, I'm, I'm gonna make these rectangles black just so we can see the effect a little bit nicer. Um, so I'm just going to select all of them. I hold down the shift key to select uh, more than one of the rectangles. And where it says fill, I'm just going to say, say black. And that uh, fills them all with black. So again, click on one rectangle, hold down the shift key, and click on another one. And that selects uh, both of them. And then you can fill in the color with whatever color you'd like. So if we preview this in the browser, uh, you can see if we just scroll down, we just have some images. Uh, sometimes you get a little white line up here. I'm not sure why that is. Um, so what I do is I just go back here and just resize it and usually takes away that white um, line. Um, sometimes you just have to make, you know, kind of tweak it and make sure that it's really flush with the rest of the, uh, the rectangles. Uh, but in any case, I'll continue with the tutorial. If you do find the white space, just kind of move it around, maybe make make it one pixel wider. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why it does that, but um, but yeah, it just kind of takes some playing around with. And I'm also going to make the browser fill here in the back uh, black so it fits with the whole theme of the site. All right, now to make these images uh, fixed and um, what I like to call a fixed background scroll effect. Uh, fixed background means the background stays in place and it looks like the website is moving over the background. Uh, so to do this, you select the rectangle with the image in it, you go to fill, and you go to scroll. Where it says scroll right here, you click on scroll. And where it says motion, you click on motion. You'll get this key position, but you don't have to worry about it because we're going to set all the motion to zero. And be sure to hit enter after you type in a zero. And now this image is not going to move uh, when we scroll, and it's going to look as if the image is kind of in the background and we're kind of scrolling past the image. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Uh, if we scroll, we have that interesting effect. You can see we haven't applied it to the other uh, banners here with the images in them, uh, but we'll go ahead and, and do that for, for practice. Uh, we'll just click on the image, go to fill, scroll, motion, and set all the motion to zero. We want the initial motion and the final motion to zero. So I'll click on this one, go to fill, scroll, motion, zero, and zero. And then I'll go to the last one, fill, scroll, motion, zero, and zero. All right, so that's it. And even that white line that I was kind of concerned about is not there anymore. Um, again, I'm not sure why, maybe it's just a little thing in, in Muse. Um, it could have been my part where I have to get the image and the rectangles exactly flush so that uh, some of that white uh, line doesn't appear. But yeah, as you can see, it looks great. Uh, we don't have any, any issues, and it, it's a very, very cool effect. Um, you can see you see the first image scroll, and then this image comes up. It's just really, really nice. Um, so nice, yeah, just play around with this. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. In, in the other tutorial, in, I mean, in the example I showed you, I had some text. Uh, all you do is, you know, just take the text tool and, um, you know, just write in. I'll, I'll just do, you know, some, uh, just a quick, uh, some text in here. And I'll change it to uh, Alerta. And I'll make the text white. That's pretty much it. That's all I did for, for the other ones, too. And then I, I copied, and then, yeah, I just kind of centered it. Copied and paste fixed and fixed background and uh, let's get that centered parallax and I'm just copying this text and just bringing it down here parallax There we go. All right, if I preview again, yep, there you go. Fixed, background, parallax, effect. All right, cool. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks.